have always enjoyed working with animals and I really wanted a career that was both challenging and quite diverse and I think veterinary medicine really fits the bill. I was a member of BVA uh, while I was a student and then for six years since I've been graduated. The Young Vet Network did come in just as I graduated which was very useful and in my first job it was a very good sort of social tool to meet up with other people in the area in the same position in your age group. The main benefit from the BBA for me is the links to CPD and also the monthly newsletter. I think in practice is a really nice practical guide to things that you do actually see every day in practice. I would say that BBA membership is good value for money um, and I think it's nicely tapered from sort of student level up to more experienced levels. It's very useful to have an organisation that does represent vets across the UK and I'm pleased that there is someone taking that role. I think BVA is magnificent. I've been involved in BVA since I was a student. When you're working in practice and you're busy, it's really hard to keep abreast of everything that's going on and it might impinge on your patients and your clients. So we deal with um, a lot of external bodies. We deal with the government, we deal with trading standards, we deal with all the charitable sector, and we collate all the information and then we feed it back down to the membership. And then they can feed back to us what they want us to do about it. All of this means that we've got our finger on the pulse and we're listening to the members and we're responding to the members. The difference between the BVA and the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons gets asked all the time and it's poorly understood. But essentially, the Royal College is there to protect the public by setting standards. And the BVA is there to support its membership, which is quite different. But when there's a threat to your ability to practice your profession, there's only two people that care about it, and that's your mum and the BVA, and your mum can't do anything about it. I've been a member of the BVA for 30 years. Group membership is very good value for a practice of our size. All of the members of the practice can get the journals. Um, they also get discounts on their CPD and they find the webinars, some of which are free if you're a BVA member, are extremely useful. BVA is an ideal source of information. If I didn't get this directly from BVA, I'd be looking at half a dozen or more different sources to try and keep up to date. It's very nice to be part of an organisation of like-minded people who are interested in improving themselves and improving their abilities to treat animals for the best. There's no such thing as a typical BVA member. Across all demographics we are representative. At a time when many associations report static or decreasing levels of membership, it's a source of great pride that we continue to grow at the rate that we do. Our service has evolved as we listen to our members through our research, through our member-led committees and via the BVA community. I think that the association is entirely focused on delivering improved professional lives for our members and I genuinely believe that we do this better now than we have ever done before. Everything I do is about membership. I think we need we need to support the members, but we also need a mandate from the members. So if we're going to go and have influence, we need to have a bigger proportion of the veterinary profession behind us. The BVA is a really active, useful, um, member-focused organisation. Supporting and informing vets all over the country. Whilst at the same time being dynamic and relevant in the modern world. BVA is here to support you, but it's the membership that makes us influential. So join us and make us stronger. <laughs>